What's going on guys? Today we are back and today we are doing a mod I've wanted to do to my Toyota pickup for a very long time and that is bobbing it. Brought to you in part by Overland Outfitters. So what exactly is bobbing and why would you want to do this to your own Toyota pickup? Bobbing your bed is essentially just cutting it down, making it shorter. One massive benefit to bobbing your truck is that it increases your departure angle so that when you go to climb hills, go over dips, cross ditches or whatever, your tail end will not get hung up on you. Also, most of the body damage that is on my box is in the very last foot of it. And this is simply just going through really tight areas, tight trees and whatever, and just barely clipping the very last bit where I just don't fit. Now the actual process of bobbing seems to be pretty straightforward. This is the first time I have done it. So pretty much you decide exactly how much you want to cut out of your bed. In my case, I landed on 11 inches. So you mark two lines, one at the very back, and one however many inches in that you decided you want to cut out. Now to make these lines pretty much as straight and true as I could, I used a laser line, shot it straight across the bed, and then used masking tape over the edge of the line. And uh, yeah, this is where I landed. So before I'm ready to start cutting, first up, I do have to remove my tail lights and I got to remove my tailgate. Let's rip those off and then uh, yeah, let's come in. All right, everything from the back is removed. The wiring is pulled back and through. So now it's time for the fun part, actually committing to the cut. Because I'm almost taking a whole foot out of my bed, the very last set of body mounts will no longer be used. They happen to land right in the middle of the section I am about to cut out. And of course, they're rusty. So here comes the Sawzall for another appearance. Okay, now that the body mounts are removed, it is time to cut up and remove the rest of the sheet metal I'm not gonna use. So, let's get at her. And now that that 11 inches is cut out, I decided to put the back half back on to see how it looks. And now you can see there's a little bit of an issue when you bob your truck. The frame hangs out way too far back. So next up is I gotta take this thing back off, but then I gotta cut the frame just after this rear hanger here so that the roll pan of the bed can then tuck right around it. And of course, before I can make that happen, I need to take off my factory bumper and my trailer hitch. To replace them, I do have a tube bumper. I'm hoping I can make work of this, but uh, I really, I won't know until it's all cut off and I got the bed in place.
so let me show you what's going on here. As far as welding it back together, it should be pretty straightforward. Um, I do have some rust to repair here, and I'm probably going to tackle the rest of this wheel arch while I'm doing this. This rear bumper actually came from a previous parts truck, and I held on to it knowing that this is going to end up on my truck after I do the bob. And I think it'll look good. I gotta cut off these mounts and make new ones. This bumper was actually on a first gen pickup before, so it doesn't bolt up, and it especially doesn't bolt up because I took the last, like, four inches off the frame. It's not straight right now, and it's definitely not in its final position. When it's done, it'll be down lower and tucked up closer to the body. Also, I had to notch the roll pan on both sides so that the frame can stick out and the bumper can mount. Next up. I'm going to pull the rear end back off and then I'm going to box in the end of the frame so that it looks a lot better kind of sticking out here because this kind of looks hokey and definitely looks modified and I want to pull it back. Now that those bumper mounts are made and the frame ends are capped, it's time to put about 500 tack welds on the back end of my truck here and start lining up the bed. And after welding and grinding for hours, this is what we're looking like here. Now, I don't have the best welder in the world. It's just a really cheap flux core, but hey, it does the job. If you had a better welder or at least more experience welding, uh, I would imagine you could probably get a much cleaner job than what I did, but it is sealed. You can't see daylight through any of it. Because it's not perfect, I'm going to take a layer of Bondo and try to blend either side. I know that's probably not ideal on a wheeler because Bondo cracks, but it'll be worth it because this is going to look a heck of a lot better with just a skiff of Bondo over top of it.
And yeah, that's it. The bob is done and it turned out so great. Another bonus to doing this is I got rid of so much rust in my bauxites at the same time. Everywhere there is a hole, I cut out and replaced with new sheet metal and uh, so now this box should last a while without completely rotting out on me. I am very happy with how the bob turned out and I can't wait to get out and finally test not only the bob but the 1UZ swap. But that'll have to wait for a future episode so make sure you guys subscribe. Anyways guys, if you like stuff, please remember to give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and uh, hey, I'll yeah. see you next week. Let's go. Peace. I'ma make a couple stacks, do exactly what I want to. Mix a couple tracks, get a lady that I'm drawn to. Turn up to the max, get me faded till I'm gone, dude. I do what I want, couldn't stop me if you wanted to. I just work hard, yeah, harder than the rest. Some people say I'm lucky, others say I'm